Iowa traffic enforcement entities have a sharp eye on drivers during the holiday season, watching for anyone driving impaired. The state also saw an increase in traffic fatalities in 2021 when compared to the year before. WHO 13's Zach Fisher joins us now in studio. And Zach, unfortunately, there were a lot more accidents on the roadways this year. Yeah, Justin, that's exactly right. The Iowa Department of Transportation numbers show that there's almost been 350 fatalities related to the roadways just this year and almost 5,000 more crashes than the year before. Now, I spoke with the Iowa State Patrol today to break down those numbers and how officers will work to mitigate fatalities in the coming year. There's going to be enforcement, education and legislation. The Iowa State Patrol has big plans for 2022 for the Fatality Reduction Task Force that includes several different law enforcement entities across the state. Iowa saw an increase in traffic fatalities across the state in 2021, 348. That's the most since 2016. With the extra enforcement out during the holiday season, the patrol arrested 16 drivers driving impaired. Sergeant Alex Dinkla with the Iowa State Patrol explains how the task force will expand in 22. Uh, we're going to sit down, we're going to look at the data, and we're going to find out what we need to do to drive down those fatalities. The state also saw an increase in traffic crashes in 2021, 5,000 more than 2020, and just a couple thousand under 2019. The spike from year to year can be a cause of the pandemic and not as many people out on the roads traveling. And coming up on the New Year holiday, Dinkla says that troopers will be out and on the watch for impaired drivers. All of our troopers and all law enforcement, they're going to have their eyes peeled to the road for those dangerous drivers, those people that are driving while impaired. And the Iowa State Patrol also added that the one thing the Fatality Reduction Task Force will do in 2022 will be putting troopers in areas that were high crash areas in the year before. Justin. All right. Hopefully those numbers will go down. Thank you, Zach.